This past October, we introduced the Everyday Care campaign for Whirlpool. Uh, it's a campaign that really helps us humanize the brand. Uh, if you think about the appliance industry, uh, it's really a, a competitive war about features, um, technology, and while that's critical to making sure that you win in the marketplace, making sure that you have purposeful technology is what we wanted to showcase. But what we wanted to make sure we did is tied back into our 100 years of equity that we've had in helping families take care of themselves. And that's really where the Everyday Care campaign came from. Uh, if you think about it, the things you do daily, whether it's washing your clothes, washing your dishes, cooking dinner, uh, whether that's for yourself or for your family, those are all elements of care. And so we're tying in how our, per how our products and our appliances help those families uh, care every single day. And when we look at it, those instances of care uh, help build stronger bonds, help build stronger uh, individuals. Clean clothes is one of the number one ways to increase school attendance. Kids uh, actually do not go to school sometimes because of the fact that they're unable to have clean clothes. And so little things like that and the impact that we can have with our appliances and showing how you can care for your family, care for your loved ones, um, it's a great opportunity for us to showcase that. What we wanted to do is capture the true insight of real life. And so if you look at the ads, uh, it's bringing in a, a scenario, uh, our current ad which is what, how, uh, has a mom clearly asking her kids, how did you do this? What did you do? Going through scenarios that uh, as a parent you can relate to. You walk into the kid's room and there's a mess everywhere. Why do you do it? And we're, what we're tying into is those key questions, what and how. And so we get into that consumer insight in the beginning of the ad and then we take it and all the way through to our product. And so that consumer insight drives the innovation. And if you look at our new washer that we just introduced, on the console we ask two questions. What do you want to wash and how do you want to wash it? And so we tie that everyday scenario that you have into the technology and then helps bring it home back to why Whirlpool created that product. Right now we're uh, actually restarted our television. We took a little break during the December, but we launched the ad on mass media, uh, primetime television in October. Uh, ran that through uh, Black Friday, one of our biggest sales periods, and now we've picked up the t major television starting this week. Uh, th running uh, throughout the entire time is our digital and social presence. So the same video that you might see on television, we're also running that online in different outlets, uh, whether that's our YouTube channel, our, uh, our own websites, or even uh, media partners that are out there. The, the other area that we really focus is on from a social perspective, uh, making sure that we're changing that conversation of care uh, and showing how the importance of care helps deliver better families, helps drive that, the bonds that individuals have. Uh, but also connecting that with Whirlpool and how our appliances play a role in that. So whether you're seeing it on television, you're on our socials pages, uh, or you're out into the digital space, we're going to be able to talk to you and kind of surround you in that conversation uh, of care, uh, and then also you know, help to show you what our appliances can do from it. What's the impact and how is it going and how do you measure that? So we measure it on key brand health metrics. Uh, it's, it's a little bit different in the durables. You know, in the CPG world, you can do a quick, I run the ad, I was able to get the pickup of the increased sales. Um, obviously, we run advertising to increase our sales. But it, uh, durable is a much longer purchase uh, cycle, and, and it could take weeks, it could take months, depending on where you are in the purchase phase. So the way that we look at it is from brand health. Uh, are we increasing awareness of the brand? Are we increasing uh, brand preference? Uh, are we increasing purchase intent and consideration? Those are kind of the big four that I like to focus on with the team. Uh, what we're seeing early reads is that we are increasing across all four of those metrics. We get into the digital space, we make sure that we're measuring engagement, how are people talking about the brand. Um, from a social perspective, what is our net uh, sentiment, and we are actually seeing that increase dramatically. Uh, as consumers talk about the care aspects of, of what we bring to the table, but also what they do every day to take care of their families. The Internet of Things, the connected home, that's, that's the buzz here at CES, and, uh, and obviously that's the buzz at Whirlpool as well. Having our appliances connected, uh, making it an easier for the consumer to use our appliances, whether it's from their mobile device, uh, understanding energy usage, understanding different ways to use their appliances. Uh, that's one of the things we're talking about from a connected perspective. Um, as I talked about care and the different things that we're trying to do to separate us from the rest of the competition, uh, one of the things I'm really proud about is we announced our uh, increasing our partnership with Habitat for Humanity. And so you can use your connected uh, devices to obviously control your appliance, but the other area that we want to do is enable consumers to donate uh, back to Habitat. So from the 10 cents to 25 cents, you pick how much per load that you want to donate back. Uh, 
which is pretty much the same amount of money that you might find in the, bo the bottom of your washer or dryer each week. And it's just little change that adds up that makes a big difference. Uh, that's on top of what ha uh, Whirlpool's already doing by working with Habitat for over 15 years and helping them build great houses. So from a connected perspective, we're, we're obviously doing it from a purposeful technology, but we added that care aspect on there. Uh, in addition, in the booth, you're able to see some of our, our new technologies that are out there from a hybrid heat pump, which is a new uh, dryer that can go anywhere because it doesn't have a vent, uh, to our interactive kitchen of the future, really showing consumers what does that kitchen look like uh, in, in 2020, uh, how it's connected, uh, being able to pull up recipes and knowing that your kitchen's connected between the uh, what's inside your refrigerator and what you're actually cooking and helping you build those ingredients and those recipes. So it's an exciting time. The booth's had a ton of traffic. We've been really proud of the team and, and really seeing uh, this whole thing come to life at CES, which has been fantastic.